Right, so I am at the hospital. Yeah, I'm having these stitches from my tiny little facelift taken out. Hopefully it's not going to be as painful as the actual procedure was. Okay, so uh, all good, stitches are out. So last week, last Friday, I had surgery on my face and my neck. Um, I thought it was quite amusing. The nurse who submitted me into surgery was called Queen. So I got submitted by Queen and my surgeon was called Mrs. Cat. So I had a mole removed and I was submitted by the Queen and the surgery was done by a cat. There's some sort of joke in there, but it's Monday and I got nothing. Yeah, I straightened my hair. Or well, at least attempted to. Uh, I have no idea where I can get my eyebrows done. And I am struggling for time because they're really bad. I don't know if this, I don't know if you can really tell, but they're really bad. Turns out that no place in Bart Green, no beauticians, is open on a Monday. WTF Birmingham? It's 2015, 2000, 2017. Beauticians should be open on a fucking Monday. Why don't service stations do eyebrow waxing? Yeah, I'm sure I'm not the only woman in the world that could get an eyebrow wax done on the way to somewhere at a service station. There you go. There's a thought for anyone thinking of a business. Hmm. Anyway, I need to go. Bye. Traveling somewhere really bloody late. S W nine A R U A Brixton. No, no concept of where that is. When you live in the north, anything south of the north is just south. So Brixton is in England. Of course, it's in England. Oh shit! The gates just fuck. Ah, oh, balls. The gates have literally just shut on the back of my truck. Fuck. Right, I'm just at um, Oxford Surf. I've got to fill up with fuel and I also think I've got a slow puncture. whilst I'm filling up with petrol. If anyone I know who watches this, or actually anyone who's friends with me, who hogs the middle lane when they drive, defriend me now. Because it's just infuriating. It just pisses me off. I have to drive so many miles for my job and people just sit in the middle lane. Just the worst people in society. Just move over, especially if there's no traffic. You have no place sitting in the middle lane, just chunkling along. You are what create traffic. Yeah. Oh, and I've got a slow puncture. I'm gonna moan again. <laughs> right, okay, so I travel a lot of the country and uh, you end up eating on the road if you don't prepare your meals. Um, to which I could actually probably do a separate video on what sandwiches are good at different service stations, i.e. Waitrose, Marks and Spencers, Greg's, Subway, because pretty much I've had them all. Um, but I've just filled up at 
we're at welcome break in Oxford and I'm not going over to the main service station because I haven't got time so I just put a sandwich inside I've got a sandwich <laughs> no one gives a shit I understand but I feel like I need to say this a bag of crisps and a bottle of water and some polo mints right and unless polo mints have gone through the roof in the last fucking year because of Brexit or some shit £7.90 are you kidding me Right, I need to stop moaning, I've got places to go. Right, I've landed. Um, parking space won't let me park, which is just shit. So I'm trying to find where I'm supposed to be right now. I've arrived at um, Joe's office. I'm going to meet Morley and get some photos taken. Okay, oh, focus, 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 focus. All right, I've just finished shooting with Morley. So he is a architectural photographer, but he also does portraits. Uh, he's had stuff shown at the National Gallery, etc. It's slightly awkward filming, uh, getting your picture taken, and I felt awkward. But I think we've got some good shots, and see what happens, see what the pictures turn out like exciting but this really cool backdrop here graffiti um, I'm not sure posing with a tripod is gonna make it into GQ magazine but it was good